All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation. We got Peters right here. Dr. R8. Go Doc follow me on Instagram, Dr. R8. And we got Will3 Will three photo. photo. Moves2x on Instagram. All right, man. We headed to get the TRX. Let's go. Dealership is at. It's the same dealership where I bought my um, Hellcat. But we gotta get something to eat. So, where do we go to get something to eat? The waffle. All right, so food vlog, food vlog. Oh, this this this, this time I'm I'm not gonna forget. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I got a picture hanging up in my office of me and my um okay. my uh, Gallardo. Not my guy out of my Huracan. He took the picture. So, the, the, matter of fact, he took the picture that's on my um on my uh, my YouTube page of the um, Huracan with the GT3 behind it. See, told you, man. Doctor R. This the truth. Y'all go follow him. Tell him your uh, Instagram. Will three photo on Instagram. All right. So I'm gonna have a link to his Instagram in the description of the video. I sent right there. We're getting ready to eat some Waffle House. You know how we do it. All right, my first time ever remembering to do a food vlog. So what you get when you go to the Waffle House, you get sausage, you get a waffle dark, scram uh, egg scrambled with cheese and onions, triple, grits, raisin toast. And you take the top off the pepper. And you take the top off the pepper to get the pepper on there. This dude right here gets a chicken dinner. He's making a stereo stereotypes as soon as we walk in this waffle house. <laughs> so I'm about to eat. Alright, look. He got he got his Will Motivation shirt on. We're gonna do a review of his car, his new car. And he, he wants to get an R8. He, says, he named himself Dr. R8. Hey y'all follow me on Instagram, Dr. R8. YouTube channel's coming December 2021. But y'all really gonna follow him once y'all see his car. But here's what happened to the food from the food vlog. We pretty much destroyed it. And uh, now it's time to go to this TRX. But I'm gonna show y'all his new car real quick. I wanna show y'all Dr. R8's new car. <laughs> Don't laugh at his car, man. You gotta start somewhere. Eventually, this is the wheel motivation moment, man. Look, one day he's gonna have an R8. He got his education, he got his doctorate degree, but he had to start somewhere. I think Richard Fain is his financial advisor. <laughs> and this is his new car that he's starting out with. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. He's from Maryland right there. But here is a, uh, what do you call this thing? Ionic. It's, a, it's an electric vehicle. Here's a, a window sticker. So just to show you that he spent 26,000 on it. And uh, it's a Hyundai. And look at it, man. It's a spec. This is a nice spec, man. It's a nice spec. It's a nice spec, man. So how did how did it drive on the way up here? Pretty good, pretty good. So man, you're doing good, man. Hey man. Next thing you know, you have your R8 listen, in no time. Listen, December 2021, the channel is gonna drop. Dr. R8, go follow me on Instagram right now, Dr. R8. Man, back he got getting too close to me. It's COVID out here, man. Man, congratulations on this Ionic. <laughs> is, that, is that what you call it? Oh my god. This thing's been recorded, man. You're doing big things. Oh god, we're doing big things out here, man. Alright, so, okay, so we on our way to uh to Yark. Well that's a cockroach. Now, right if you guys don't know, Yark is where I bought my uh Hellcat. They were one of the only places that knew how to order a uh a TRX for me, so I went with Yark again. But we are on our way to um <laughs> We're on our way to pick up our Ram TRX. It's here from York Automotive in Toledo, Ohio. We drove all the way up from Columbus, Ohio, two-hour drive, and Han, Hamza uh, drove us. But um, but we're pulling up right now, so I don't know if it's ready or not. But uh, Ram TRX with the Hellcat engine. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the spec. Got to write the check. Cut the check. But, uh, but we got. Um, Dr. Peters, Dr. R8. Dr. R8, y'all go follow me on Instagram right now, Dr. R8. So, 
you got, you got, y'all bear with him, man. He, he's, a, he's an amateur. He's not thinking about the, the shot right now. He's got the <laughs> <laughs> How's it from the pull up in the front? Are we own it? They're right there, right there, brother, to your left, right there in the front. Yes, sir. Actually, shit. Huh? Oh, right, so look, I got, hey, look, no, I got a camera right there. Hey, look, I got the, look. You're professional. I was about to start working on it. Hey, well, they want to update on Project Huracan. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, Project Huracan is done, y'all. They might be talking about. They might be talking about Project TRX. Yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> we'll go. We'll, we'll give y'all a, a look at the Project TRX later on. Later on, y'all.
To the right, underneath the column. Yeah, It's off the, uh, it's off of Will's phone. It's a low key. Uh, it's the best y'all gonna get. I'm not used to fancy stuff like this. Can't just uh, lightly close it. But uh, yeah, man, this thing is sick. I really like the panoramic sunroof on it. I think it looks so good with the, with the black and red accents right here with the Alcantara. You know what I'm saying? You could tell like Dodge really tried to make sure this car is an $80,000 car. The performance to it and the interior quality as well. Like you see the stitching right here. Hold on. See the stitching on it, the TRX. The leather doesn't feel bad. It feels good quality. It feels like good quality leather. Nice red piping right here. Alcantara. Alcantara right here and then the bottom of the steering wheel. Flat bottom also. Different from the normal Rams, I believe. But yeah, man. Paddle shifters, which are actually like two pieces. As you can see right there, there's two pieces to it. So there's one here at the top. And then there's another one, like a small version at the bottom. Let me figure out what. It is called Diamond Black Crystal Pearl Coat. And then the interior is just black. Right there, if you can see it. Base price is $69,000. This car is very well optioned, so with everything, it is $88,000. Grand. Not a cheap truck. <laughs> it gets 12 miles on average city highway, 10 in the city, and 14 on the highway. What's up, man? You want to plug anything in? No, we're just putting the registration in there for you real quick. All right, sounds He's good. About He's about done? You gonna do a burnout or what? Yeah, man, not me. <laughs> this is an $80,000 truck. Let's see what Will got going on, man. Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, so I'm in the finance office. Um, I wrote a check from my um, home, home equity line of credit. So my he bank, won. yeah, my, he locked, my bank is closed. So they couldn't verify the funds. So I had to sign a finance application in case my check doesn't clear. I'll be home with this mug soon. I guess they want to make sure that, you know, I'm not a criminal trying to take their truck and not pay for it. So, but I'm going to do a video explaining um, how, how I'm using my home equity line of credit to fund this purchase. So everybody knows 
how I'm kind of leveraging the real estate to make this happen. And then I'm going to show you some other strategies that I do, um, you know, to try to just be smart with the finances. Um, but I'm almost done. So I'm just waiting for, um, for them to come back and, uh, cause I had to do a finance application. So, so I'm just in here waiting. So, Tuition ain't cheap. Uh, so I heard we had a race lined up already. As soon as I get a truck, I'm, I'm going to do a burnout right out, out of here. So you got to get that on video. True. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to floor this mug out of here. I think I'm joking. Uh, no, I'm good. Right. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, oh, so Chess Home said, describe the feeling of what it's like from the first Lambo to now. Uh, it feels like progression. It feels like it's different, man, because, you know, you don't have. I haven't really been super excited to the point where I was a little emotional since I got a Corvette. Like, I got a new Corvette, a C7 Corvette. And, like, I got emotional about that because my dad had died recently and. I would kind of wanted him to be able to see me be kind of like successful a little bit, you know. And uh, I felt like I had kind of made it when I bought a new Corvette. But buying a Gallardo and stuff is a little different, man, because I'm a car guy, so it's just having fun and stuff. But but it's a whole lot of work, man, that I do and sacrifice that I do that goes with it. So I So that makes it like... When you work super hard, man, and you know how hard you have to work to do stuff, it's a little different, like, because you, like, when I work hard, you know, like, for, to be honest, like, I'm not, it's not having fun. Like, I, I'm really just grinding, I'm taking care of responsibilities. So this is kind of a way to kind of balance it out, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's not all work. So you do something fun. So this balances it out a little bit. I'll probably feel a whole lot better when I don't have to work as much. I'll probably be able to enjoy it more, but I still, you know, I'm still on the grind. I'm not fortunate enough, like some YouTubers, you know, that, or people that's, you know, got $50 million in the bank and they can go riding around and stuff. I can't, I'm not at that point. Like I still gotta, I gotta, still gotta work and stuff. So, so it's grind, man, but it's, it's, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? But I don't get attached to cars, even though I love cars and stuff. I don't really get attached to them, so I could let all of them go and I'd be fine as long as I still have my friends and family around. You know what I'm saying? And 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 my health. So that's just me being honest with you. But I love, but I love cars. You know, they're fun. It's like a hobby. You know, big boy toys. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but man, when you work hard, when you work hard, like you understand. Like as soon as you get something, you know how hard you had to work and you know how hard you got to work going forward so it's just part of the the balance you know what i'm saying the balance to to do something that you like to justify you know all the hard work that you do so that's all it is so it's not you know that's just me that's me being honest and not trying to be dramatic like oh you know it's the best feeling in the world to be you know more than anything i'm happy i got my health i'm happy my family's good i'm um I'm happy I'm able to help people in my family and share my experiences with my friends and stuff like that. And I'm happy about that, you know, so I'm good. That's all. So, but uh, we're going to have some fun with this truck. We're going to have some fun with this truck. It's one of the things. Now, when I get to the point where I don't have to work so hard, I'll probably be wilding out. You'll probably be seeing me, you know, have a little bit different, a little bit different um, vibe. When I when I do this kind of thing, if I don't have to work so much, so Chess said, "Will you upgrade the personal house anytime?" Yeah, that's my next thing. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to buy no more. Like, well, I got one more car coming, but my next big thing is going to be um, not upgrading my house because I like my house where it's, where it is now, so I want to keep that house. But I do want to get a house in Florida, and I'm going to try to show you guys how I'm going to do it that where it makes sense, where I'm going to buy a house. And as an investment property and then make the house pay for itself but I'll still be able to use it um, as a vacation home and my friends and my family will be able to use it too so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that that's my next big thing um, but upgrade my house like you know my kids are grown my kids are like 18 and 20 so I don't need it I don't need to upgrade to a bigger house or anything like that and I've had a bigger house than, than my house now and it was too much, like I, it was just too much. So I don't want to upgrade my house, but I do want to get another house in Florida and make it an investment rental property, vacation property, 
and you guys will be able to use it too. Like actually, you know, Airbnb. I'll use it like as a giveaway to give away a weekend to to use my. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an Airbnb, and it's gonna be on a resort. So I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me on that. It's gonna be real interesting. There he is. All right, so we're done with the financing stuff, and uh, we're gonna start up, and pull it out. This is my man right here, Brandon. How's it going? He took care of me. Absolutely. Real good to work with. So you guys uh, deal with Yark, deal with Brandon. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so we got the crew here. Let's go get the car. Thank you. Yeah, let's make sure he's all straight. Damn, that truck looks good from the front. Alright, first drive. First drive in the uh, ramp. Here we go. Let's uh let's hope that the uh, first drive is not crashed this time. Actually. Oh. It'd be a damn shame. Straight, straighten it out. Straighten it out. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. Got that on camera. Well made it. Yo, that started out faster than I thought it was going to throw it out. Oh, God. They moving. Oh, yeah. They got dang shot on people. See how quick that is? Yeah. You're peeling off the lot. You're peeling off the lot. Walk on it. I'm gonna have to roll the wheel, man. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Yep. Ram active suspension. So who rolling with who? Gonna burn it? Burn it. Hit it, Will. Do it right here. Come here, all right. Get back, baby. Hold on. Let me get, let me get the knife angle. Thanks. Yep. All right, I'm gonna do that burn out. Y'all ready? You gonna burn it? I'm burning. Hit it, Will. <laughs> you know what? We got traction control. Where's the traction control at? Traction control. Oh, there it is. Boom. All right, here we go. <laughs> God damn. You can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yo, look at this rear reverse mirror right here. I can't drive too crazy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I scared the crap out of that lady. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Let me go around here. Yo, this is crazy. Got the windows open. When you're driving it, it's not as loud as uh it's not as loud as um as uh you know when you're behind it. I don't want to leave them. They, they, I do need to give them a ride home. Yeah, this thing, this thing is huge, though. You gotta be careful. Like it's kind of, it's wider. Like I'm used to driving a 1500. This is uh, a lot wider. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see what this thing is about here in this first drive. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Nah. It looks so nasty real pulling in. You ready? You're born ready. You want to fish tail off the lot? Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> this car is too slow to get in trouble. My car is too slow. He'll be, he'll be flying, <laughs> Me? I don't know about that. <laughs> one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.